Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys my donut album project share in detail, showing you guys all the different pages that I have included in this um, journal or album. I don't really know what to call it. It's a donut album, but now it's also like a journal kind of thing. And then some people have been calling it a ring album because I guess it's got like the binder rings. So I'm not really sure what it's called. So to me, it's going to be a donut ring a donut ring album journal i guess i don't know <laughs> but i wanted to show you guys um what it looks like all the different elements inside of here and everything so i will show you the dies that i used um what my thinking process i guess kind of was and let's get to it Okay guys, so the die that I used to make this album, and I will have two videos coming out after this showing you guys how I made the album. So one of them is going to be the base pages of the album, and the second one is going to be me decorating the album. So definitely check those out. Those videos will be coming out after this one. But I did use this die from the KS Craft Store, and it is a donut album die. I mean, it already comes with like the the holes and stuff like these little hole things for the binder rings it is such a cute die and I previously made a Halloween album with this for a swap and I got to play with it it turned out really really cute but now since I made my coffee journal which you guys would have seen recently I've been really into like the junk journal kind of style so that's exactly what I was thinking when I was making this one I mean at first I was like hey I'm just gonna make an album but then it became like oh wait I want to have like interactive pages and then I was like wait I should add some journaling pages so then it become like became like this whole thing um and you guys will see that in the video I kept like coming back to show you guys something new that I was like oh I'm gonna include this now so anyway guys here is the cover this is what the cover turned out like it is a shaker so there's some sequins in here um there's this cute little heart that says cutie you got this i love you thing that has like thread all over it um hugs and kisses some puffy hearts and it's super duper cute on some mirrored background paper i also have this dangle here this was gifted to me um i can't remember by who but thank you so much to whoever gifted me this i don't really know so i i can't be sure um i got a lot of stuff in my birthday challenge so I can't remember where everything is from but I know this was gifted to me um so the back side also has the mirror paper and it's got my logo down here on the bottom I did use some pink binder rings here and it's just so cute all right guys so let's go flipping through the pages and I'm going to show you guys the inside so I'm going to put this up here otherwise it's going to get in the way so here is that first page. I have a um, pocket here with some cut aparts and I used a mix of the Lucky Us collection. So this is from the Lucky Us collection. This is I'm a sucker for you. So you've got these journaling spots that say because I love you. You could take them apart, glue them wherever, or you could just use them like that. And you got this love piece. And this is actually from a Valentine's Day collection from Michaels from last year. Um, so a lot of this paper is from Valentine's Day collection from Michaels. I think it actually might be all of the paper. And guys, for this album, and you guys will see in my video, all I did was use up my Valentine's Day scraps, guys. I had some bigger scraps from making a ton of projects um, this year and last year. So I had a lot of bigger scraps and that's all I did. I used up like a ton of my Valentine's Day scraps, which made me so happy. I was going to make cards, but I was getting kind of overwhelmed with how much paper I had to make cards with. Um, so I decided to make a album. So I also included some of my pink dyed paper. I just die cut it out in that same shape and I did add some like reinforcement, um, pieces here so these aren't stickers I just had to cut them out and then I glued them on both sides um so that they are like a little reinforcement page so that this is still a journaling spot but this is my pink dyed paper then here you could journal here you could add a photo 
whatever the person wants to do it says cutie and this is so cute and this was actually one of those papers that is harder to use it's like a 12 by 12 sheet and i think this was like actually a heart either a heart or a wreath but i cut out a part of it and i made this into like a like, cute little journal so it worked out well then the next page here i used up two scrappies and i just kind of did like a ripping kind of technique to make them kind of go together and i think that looks cute um, I just didn't have like a full circle here, so that's what I did. I did two like smaller circles and I just put them together. On this other side, I have a belly band and I did this also in my coffee journal. So I also did it here. It's a cute little belly band. And here I have a cut apart, this one. Oh my God, I'm too close to the camera, sorry guys. I have this cut apart here and I have this one. So this one, you, you know, the person could add throughout whether they wanna use it as a tuck spot for example, like here or whatever, and just tuck in a photo, or they could attach it on top of a photo. So they could do that, um, choose to use it however they want, but it is there for however the person wants to use it. Here I have a pocket with some more cut aparts from the Lucky Us collection are these first two with the hearts. And this one says you are one of a kind. And this one is from that Valentine's Day paper collection from Michaels. Okay, so this paper actually, I think this was like a single 12 by 12 sheet. I don't know from where, it might have been from Joann's or something when I went to New Jersey last year because I bought a lot of like single sheets then since they just had so many options. So this may have been from Joann's. This wasn't from like a Michael's paper pad or anything, but this was, and this was again, one of those 12 by 12 sheets, but I literally used like a little corner piece to make a pocket and I added some pom-pom trim. And then these cut aparts just go back in there. And then on this next page, um, this was another one of those like single sheets or no, this wasn't a single sheet. This was from like a very thin paper pad um, that I had that was like all the different seasons, but it was like copy paper weight. Like it was very thin, but because I made everything on sturdy 110 pound cardstock, it worked out just fine. Um, so that was this paper and here I have a euphemer piece from the Lucky Us collection and this is a cute little um, tuck spot so you could add a photo behind it and it'll just like stay in place. So that's there. Then there's like this cute little ribbon tab here so you could use this to open this up and that's what it looks like. So on the inside I just have some pink paper here. And this is just another way to add more photos. So that's there. Then on this next page, on this side, we have another little pocket here. And inside of here, we have this cute little like bingo card from the Lucky Us collection and another little heart. So you could journal on the back, you could add little photos. You could also just add other photos inside these pockets as well. So either way, then I have um, another one of those like journaling pages with my pink dyed paper. So that's just there. Then I added in a vellum piece um, that has hearts on it just for a little bit more added interest. And then another journaling piece here. And obviously the person receiving it, if they don't want so much journaling pages in one spot, they can move the journaling page elsewhere. I just thought it fit best here. So that's what I did. And that's where I put it. Then this next page, I have this full size sheet and another little tuck spot here so the person can add some photos there and it'll just stay there so it's a nice little tuck spot um then i have this pull out tag with some seam binding and the seam binding is from my scrap cabin shop and this was actually like one of those um you know those pages that have like a ton of patterns on one page that kind of like are like fake washy kind of looking things? Well, this was one of those, um, but I just turned it into a, like a little tag and that just lives in here behind that pink patterned paper. Then on this next page here, I have some gold sequin trim here and I did something similar that I did with my coffee... Um, journals and I did like another one of these like things so I used some white scrap papers did a cute little ripping effect and then used some of my pink dyed paper scraps and stitched it together so you could write on this you could add a little teeny photos whatever it is and they just live in here under this pocket so that's a cute little tuck spot on the top 
then this was another one of those like really hard to use papers from the 12 by 12 sheets. This one was like a heart wreath. Um, so I just cut a piece of it and it worked out well here. Okay, I just zoomed out a little so I could show you guys all of these um, elements here. But anyway, this next page is looking like this. So again, I use that um, ripping technique here to combine kind of two circles together. Here, this one's interesting because this one is actually a card that I received in a swap, but I wanted to repurpose it and it was so cute. So I wanted to include it in here. So all I did um, was cut it out and keep it um, folded on the seam here on the edge, added a piece of ribbon to open it up, and I lined the inside with pink paper. So now it's like a cute little journal spot or photos or whatever it is, but this was actually a card that I received. So I just used that in here and it looks super cute. Then on this next page here, I have another little pocket here. And again, I combined two pieces of paper and just made one into a pocket. Inside that pocket, I have these two cut aparts. One of them that says we're a perfect match from the Lucky Us collection. And this one is a heart also from the Lucky Us collection. So those just live in this pocket here. There's a lot of like um, ephemera pieces and cut aparts that I included in this album. Then here I have some pom-pom trim here and some more cut aparts. So this one on the bottom says Happy Valentine's Day. This is actually from main, the Main Squeeze collection. This is from the Lucky Us collection that says You, Me, Lucky Us. There you go, there's that name of that collection. And then I included these little ticket things. Um, so as the person adds some photos, they could take these apart and glue them onto the photo. So this one says date night, for example. This one could be a cute little journal thing added to a photo. And this one says dinner for two. Um, so I thought that was super cute. So I wanted to gift it in um, and include it in this album so that when somebody adds that kind of photo, they could just stick that um, little ticket to document that photo. Then on this next page here, I have another little tux or like side pocket thing. And here there's a card that says, you have my heart. And then there's one that says, kiss me. And it's so stinking cute. So that just lives in this pocket here. Then we have another journal um, page here. Another one of those are ripping techniques. And this is what I mean when like, and I, you guys already saw that kind of page before, but the interactive pages. So this one's got another um, a ribbon here and it just opens up this way. So I definitely wanted to include some of those with the albums I've been making and combine albums, like interactive albums and journaling together into one, into a super cute donut album. So I think that turned out really cute. And then you turn this page and you have some more cut aparts here. So here, this one says, hope you'll be mine again from the luckiest collection. And this one is like a game kind of thing. I don't really know what you would put on this, but I thought it was cute. So, I mean, you don't have to put anything on it. You could just put a photo on it or do some journaling on it. But I just thought it was cute because it's like a little game thing. And it says luck, love, new love, good match, happiness, true love. I mean, the person could, I guess, play with their partner or whatever and just mark their scores if they really wanted to. Um, but I thought that was cute. And it, that goes behind here in this cute little belly band that I had created here. Then this last page here, I have another one of those like top um, tuck spots. And again, I have that um, sequin gold trim with another one of these like journal spots using up some of my pink dyed paper and some white scraps. And again, I stitched on it just so that it would stay together. And that's what that looks like. And that just goes back here underneath that um, tuck spot. And then I have also another pull-out tag. And this one's so cute. One of my favorite tags. And it says sweet with little strawberries. And again, I used some of that seam binding. So I did put an eyelet because I didn't want anything to rip or anything. And it's got the super cute seam binding from my scrap cabin shop. So I will have everything linked down below. Um, I'm going to have the dye linked down below from the KS Craft Store. I will have the seam binding linked down below. Um, I will even have the Lucky Us collection linked down below if I could find it. 
and um it's just it's so cute guys i love this so much i love how it turned out especially the cover like isn't it so cute i love it guys let me know what you guys think of this i definitely was inspired after re-seeing it um from the halloween one that i made and I was, I already had a Valentine's Day on my mind. So I was like, ooh, I should make a Valentine's Day donut album. And that's what I did. And I'm so happy I got to use up a ton of my scraps. That made me super duper happy. So that is it, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this donut ring album journal thingamabobby. Let me know what you guys think. And stay tuned because I'm going to have part one of the video showing you guys how I put the album together and made the pages. And then part two, doing all the decorating and the cover and adding the seam binding and the eyelets and all of that. So that will be part two. I will have them linked down below when those videos are posted. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you. And I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.